Hi guys, this is Jake at Canadian Cutting Edge. And today I'd like to talk about the Lansky Blade Medic, the portable blade maintenance tool. Come on down to the desktop and let's take a good look at this uh, utility tool because I think it is a must have for everybody's uh, camping bag. And uh, you know, if you're going out for a while, hunting or just camping, this is a really good tool to take with you. Come on down to the desktop. So, okay, here we are with the Lansky Blade Medic. Um, let's start off on this round end. This is the base of the unit. Um, these are steel uh, scales, no plastic or anything cheap like that. These are all steel construction. Uh, the first thing you see is the hole. So that's a really good lanyard or some other system that you can keep track of this unit and not lose it that easily. And then the first cutter that we have that we come across is this carbide cutter. This is the do not use cutter. The only time I would suggest that you ever use this carbide cutter is if a blade is tremendously chewed up, just really, really rough. If you're out in the field and your knife just gets that really, really bad, bad, terrible edge, and you just have to sharpen it before you get home, the carbide will help clean up the edge enough to make it useful. But for anything else, your basic maintenance, your basic uh, keeping your knives sharp, even after they've dulled a bit, you really want to go ahead and use the ceramic. The ceramic is two rods at different angles. These are at, uh, I believe it's 20 degrees. And so all you have to do is put your knife in the base and slide it back right to the tip. And just slide it back. You don't need to have, you know, a super amount of speed and I recommend just using the weight of the knife itself and using greater repetition as opposed to pressure. If you put pressure on these, then you're asking it to misbehave, really. And you're going to have uh, like little spots along the knife that it, where it's going to jump a little bit. It's going to cause tiny pits, not pits. Um, it's really hard to describe what it's going to do if you put too much pressure, except to say that if you use light pressure, you'll get a better edge. Um, and so you just take your time sliding it. Um, you can slide it back and forth if you'd like. But I find that we all have a tendency to hold a knife, either tilting it to the left or tilting it to the right. And so that's going to change how, how well it works not how well it works, how it, uh, what it does to the edge. So what I like to do is I do 10 repetitions and I turn the blade medic around and then I do 10 repetitions again. Um, it's a whole lot easier to turn the blade medic around than it is to turn me around and work from the other side. <laughs> and this will help keep everything even and centered. So that's the ceramic tool. So this tool that I just showed you is what you're going to use 90% of the time. You're not going to need anything else on here. But this does have a ceramic um, piece here, which is ideal for serrated edges. So you can take the ceramic and um, run it down the serrations um, from the spine, moving away to the tip and just touch up those edges of those serrations over and over again if you want to do it until it's as sharp as you want it. You can use this just as a uh, sharpening or a, a rod uh, to do knife maintenance as well. And then you slide your blade across it this way. And there's nothing wrong with using it that way, except it's tricky. Uh, it's tricky to do that well, but uh, you can do that and you switch over to the other hand and you do the other side as well. So that's another way that you can use this. 
if your serrations need a fair bit of work, you also have this tool. Um, the modern ones now are held in by magnets. There's a magnet here and a magnet here. A neodymium, a neodymium magnet, so it's quite strong, and so that holds it very well right there. So you can do the same thing either with the serrations, you know, sliding this down the serrations if they are rounded shaped. This is a diamond impregnated uh, cone. So you go that way. Since diamond is very aggressive, you'll get that going quite quickly. Now you can also use the diamond for, you know, sliding your blade across this way. Um, you would do this if your blade is um, needing sharpening badly enough that the ceramic isn't quite aggressive enough for you, but the carbide is just way too much. So you can start with either holding the knife and then sliding the, uh, the tool across and up. I'm going to raise this camera up a little bit so I can show you a bit better. So you can use the tool either this way. And whatever number of times you do it that way, I then switch the hand and I do it back this way. And that can help get your knife prepared to finish off with the ceramic. Again, not a lot of pressure. Doing equal strokes either way until your knife is ready to be used. There was a long time where this is the only sharpening tool that I used. It's that good. It can be your main tool. Uh, it's a bit of a pain to be your main tool because it's not terribly comfortable to hold this for a long time and work on the edge of, you know, doing maintenance on 20 knives one weekend. You're going to get really tired of doing it this way. So having a full-fledged sharpening system is definitely a really good idea. But this tool can do so much for you. The uh, diamond impregnated long cone, the ceramic serrated sharpening system, the ceramic rods that you can slide your knife through, and the extremely aggressive carbide to just really get an edge on something that is really destroyed. There you go, the Lansky Blade Medic. Um, you can usually find it for definitely less than $20. You can probably find it for $15, depending where you look. Uh, any of the knife shops that are online, Amazon, um, there's so many places to get this, I'm not gonna give you a specific place to go and get this. but. This is a superior sharpening system for a number of reasons. Part of it is all metal construction. Um, you know, you got Allen key holes to take it apart if you need to. You can buy replacement ceramic cones, take it apart, I mean, ceramic rods for in here and put them in there. You can buy replacement carbide for it, replacement um, uh, ceramic for the the ceramic for the serrated. I'm not sure if you can buy a replacement uh, tapered rod, diamond impregnated, but you probably can. Um, or you can just buy a whole new unit. Uh, I own two of these right now, and I'm thankful that I've got both of them. This is my favorite Lansky item that I own. Even better than the Lansky knife that I have, the Responder. So there you go. Always remember, friends, cut towards your chum and not your thumb.